So Craig Kilborn decides to quit, and then right. you are then left I, with... Then I said to Worldwide Pants and CBS, I want uh, at least four weeks of different guest hosts to try and find the next host. Uh, we used, a, I'm guessing, uh, 25 different hosts. Somewhere 25, 30, maybe even. Uh, and we narrowed it down to four. I didn't want another political situation where I would wind up with a host that I wasn't crazy about. So it was a very difficult, again, difficult chapter. Uh, Of the four, the real uh, offbeat choice was Craig Ferguson. Uh, I was very concerned that his thick Scottish accent would be a major drawback. People wouldn't understand him. Uh, however, I thought everything else about him was great. Uh, Michael Ian Black was the choice of the head of Worldwide Pants, who was the man who chose Craig Kilborn. Uh, I didn't want to lose that battle. Uh, I did something that turned out to be very effective, which is I had the four hosts meet with Les Moonves after they had done their week. Uh, and uh, Craig, I had to meet with Les Moonves separately, Nancy Tellum, Nina Tassler, Peter Golden, casting, and it, it was like a political race, really. Uh, the nice thing was that Dave called me and said uh, he didn't want to happen what happened with Kilbourne, where he, Dave, didn't get involved at all that he wanted to be more involved this time. And I said, great, you should have been involved last time. You know, it's high time. Uh, and I sent him the four tapes of the four guys. He never looked at them. <laughs> uh, I, actually, he, he may have looked at a couple of them because he liked the MTV kid who had the same quality as uh, Kilborn in that he was very comfortable and at ease on camera, but he was just a young kid with nothing to back up besides the fact that he was cute. So Dave said he was kind of like Damien Fahey, but that he would go with whatever choice I would make, which I was very appreciative to get that. Uh, when I had the four hosts meet the CBS brass, Craig would walk into a room and just take over and be liked by men and women alike and charmed everybody. Uh, One of the other candidates never made eye contact with Les Moonves, and he said to me, what's the matter with him? Why is he looking out the window when I'm talking to him? And I said, that's, that's the way he is. And he said, wow, it made me uncomfortable. I said, I understand. Uh, the other two, uh, he didn't have a strong opinion about. Uh, 
so then every, it was time to vote. Dave threw his vote to me. Uh, CBS, tr again, trusted me and thought that if, if I believed in Craig Ferguson, they would go along. Uh, I asked Les Moonves, one important thing was I thought Craig Ferguson could reach large female audience, but also the 18 to the 25 to 54 age group. Did I have his permission not to go for the 18 to 34, but to go for the larger demographic, the older demographic, which was very important to me because I thought we could win in that category. Uh, and he said, yes, go ahead, that's okay, you have my blessings on that. So, the man at World Wide Pants who was pushing for Michael Ian Black lost the battle this time. Uh, and Craig was the choice. As I said, I, I was very nervous about the Scottish accent. As a matter of fact, when when uh, D.L. Ugly asked me for advice as to how he should handle his hosting, I said, I'm going to give you the same advice that I gave to Craig Ferguson. And he said, what's that? I said, I said, don't be too Scottish, <laughs> which he understood my humor there. <laughs> In this case, I wanted, didn't want him to be too black, which he was. It was always black versus white. They, he never, ever could get away from that, which I thought was troublesome. Uh, so Craig became the host, uh, and CBS is fully behind him, and we've... Uh, in the four years we've been on, uh, have climbed and beaten Conan m many a week in the ratings, which I wanted to do. That was my goal, to do that before uh, the strange five-year deal with Conan and Jay Leno was a bizarre move on NBC's part. I wanted to beat Conan before that change would come in. We have beaten him several weeks, but not completely every week. Uh, but we are now in a position where I think we can win the 12.30 slot, and I think maybe Dave can win the 11.30 slot. and. Uh, I will have gone full circle.